it was 9.30 p.m. I was in my bed, and I just had to go out for, I don't know what reason, or they called me, and I was in my pajamas. Mm. And they tell me, Daniel, come, come, come. You have to see Guruji right away. I said, but I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> At least uh, let me get dressed. No, 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 you come as this. You're covered. This is enough. <laughs> so here they take me to Guruji's residence. And there was a lady speaking Spanish whose English was very, very weak. And she was complaining to Goenka that he is so demanding that for him everything has to be perfect. But for us, for her so as a student, she is giving a cot and no comfort whatsoever. And what type of a teacher is he mm. that lives in such luxury, whereas she as a student has nothing? Mm. So here they call me, and I'm supposed to translate. <laughs> <laughs> and Guruji is there <laughs> sitting with his smile and so much metta, mm. so much love and kindness. So all of a sudden, I sit there, and there's a blank in my mind. I cannot think at all. My All my thought patterns are stopped hmm. as if I weren't me. And all I could hear was her voice and his voice. It was something that really struck me, and I'm still so much impressed hmm. with what happened, how it hmm. was possible that hmm. through his concentration, now that I know a bit more, or through however the environment and oh. the that something could be stopped so much, so uh. brusquely. And I translated, and I remember what I translated, although, it, and it was that she was complaining and she was showing the carpet that he was, that she was sitting on. And Guruji said to her, but this carpet was given so that you sit comfortably, mm. not for me. Mm. And he had so much patience, mm -hmm. no matter what the complaints were, mm. no matter what the commentaries were. Mm. He had so much patience in really making the students understand that it's not for him mm. and he is not there for himself, but he is there for us. Mm. I remember another instance where we really wanted chai, which is a, this Indian tea <laughs> with milk, right. especially at 12 o'clock after lunch. Mm -hmm. And the cook, Mahavir, would say, no, 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 we don't have enough money, no chai, Ma milk is too expensive. It was very early days. The tea was cheap, but the milk was not. Mm -hmm. And we really wanted it, and <laughs> we had very good teachers now, like Dr. Joe Poland, mm. and he would represent us all and <laughs> go to Goenka and say, Goenka, you have to talk to your cook, because he, they don't want to give us chai. I mean, a student's union. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's a student's <laughs> union. And Guruji would talk to Mahavir, tell him, give them chai. Okay, tomorrow, but only tomorrow. <laughs> and then again, two days later, no more chai. Mm. And like this, mm. like this. So, yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's...